Hello and welcome, my beautiful, vibrant souls. Oh my goodness, what a good day we're having today. Um, hello, welcome back to all my old friends and a big hello and welcome to all of my new friends joining me here for the first time. So today's reading, sorry if you can hear the wind, by the way, it is a whipping right outside the window where I am filming. It's nice. It's real nice. Um, today's message, or er, <laughs> close, I was close. Today's reading. <laughs> You guys, you don't even, you don't even know. All right, I'm good now. Today's reading is going to be messages from your angels. As such, I have picked three different cards from the Divine Timing Oracle with angel numbers um, for you to make your selected choice from. I also have tarot that's pre-shuffled. I'm going to pull live on camera. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yes, three options in front of us. We have option one with this. Can you see? I'm always really good at holding it out of the frame. We have option one with this zero, 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 zero. Beginnings and endings are one and the same oneness card. We have eight, eight, eight. Strength, abundance, and infinite connection. Um, and in case it's important, the hands on the clock are pointing to a 12 and a two. So I'll throw that out there. And option three with 919, reconciling the past, surrendering, and new chapter. Um, so yeah, meditate, contemplate on the stacks in front of you. Oh, I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me just fix it a little bit. There you go. I don't know why whenever anybody does that, like makes my eyeballs cross. So I'm sorry if that made your eyeballs cross. But yes, meditate, contemplate the stacks in front of you when you have picked the one that best resonates with your energy or the energy of the messages you are trying to welcome in. Head down to the timestamps in the description box below and it will take you to your selected option. And with that, I'm going to start with group one. Okay. Oh, hello, group one. That's so interesting. I was checking to make sure we we're in the frame, and the second I said hello, it was two, two, two on the camera. So, this is a very powerful card. This is beginnings and endings. Um, so, you know, for group three, we had nine one nine. It was like reconciling the past and new new chapter. And so, there's kind of similar energies. If you couldn't choose between the two, maybe there might be correlation. Obviously, I don't know yet, um, but where that one kind of feels like it's a little bit more of a slow and steady. So like, um, that one kind of feels like it's more of like the death card energy in the tarot. And this has more of a tower moment feeling, right? This feels like there's something where there's going to be an abrupt, like bang, like big bang here. Um, an abrupt kind of either beginning that facilitates an ending or an ending that also is ushering in a beginning very, very quickly. The energy here feels like it's like moving super fast like they're showing me a door being whipped open and then like the air from the you know from moving the door really quickly is like pushing stuff around it's it might feel a little chaotic right now you might be picking up on this energy before it actually happens there might be a slight delay so maybe there's like um like an ending happens and then like a week or two later the beginning happens like the beginning of a new cycle starts and this might start you know very overtly or a little bit more subtly um but they're they're going to be relatively especially in terms of divine timing relatively on top of each other so yeah um yeah that's all i got for that i was trying to see if anything else is coming through so let's see what your oracle has to say first we have we have rochelle as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart prosperity is coming to you now hell yeah dog <laughs> we have oh shanti perfect I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Sorry, my eyeballs just decided they want to stop working and they didn't work that well to begin with. Um, I want this one. Oh, we have focus. Can you see that with the slight glare? Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm just adjusting the camera. There we go. Um, okay. So we have focus and then we have, ooh, Azurite, Saturn energy and discipline. This is card 30, so that reduces to a three, in case that's important for you. And Snapdragon, graciousness and benevolence. No act of kindness, no matter how small is ever wasted. That's an Aesop quote. 
beautiful. Um, I actually, I kind of want to pull you guys some tarot first. Cause like seeing what the vibe was, um, there's a lot going on here. Like I feel, whoo, I feel like I need to lay down. We want this. All right. So three of swords reversed at the bottom. A lot of you have been in this cycle of healing from heartbreak and now things are finally moving forward. Um, but we have, woof, the queen of wands. Okay, y'all. Doesn't this Queen of Wands look like she's going to eat your damn babies? I love the Queen of Wands. I almost like her more like this. No, but she's like, she's she's bringing it. She's bringing the look. Um, it's powerful. And oh my God, this is at the bottom of the deck before I started because I don't know why while I was talking and doing the intro, I peeked at the bottom of the tarot deck. We have the Hanged Man reversed. Yup, that checks out. We have <gasps> the High Priestess. Oh my God. All right, I have... So many thoughts, you guys. I'm imp Dude, you have judgment too. Holy shit. This feels... <laughs> I don't know why I have my first thought with this. Do you see its facial expression? My first thought was like, it looks like somebody pants him. Like, that's that same look where you're like, oh no. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood today, you guys. And you have the Four of Cups. Okay. Okay. Let me just settle in here for a second. We have Pisces energy showing up twice, feminine fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, by the way. <clears throat> okay. There is something where I feel like you have either been offering something to somebody or maybe there's an offer extended to you. Um, and the focus has been elsewhere. So if you're offering, you know, with this Ace of Cups being offered, if you've been offering you know, yes, your love, but I also feel like your better nature, right? Like, because I'm really drawn into graciousness and benevolence. If you've been offering your kindness. It feels very much like unconditional love. You've been really showing up in a situation. You've been showing up as your best self. I feel like this may have um, been in the face of some restrictions, even where it's like you were kind of placed under restriction and you're still, we have the, the lion energy here as well. So you're still showing up with love. You're still showing up with compassion. You're still showing up with a great big wide open heart chakra. Um, I feel like this is a situation where there is a reckoning here, whether for you or for this other person. Now, if this is you, and you've kind of been, you know, so this energy with the Four of Cups is, this is like boredom, this is apathy. Um, especially in this particular deck, oof. She's got her hand on her face, which to me looks more like, like a contemplative gesture. In the traditional card, the man has his arms crossed in front of his chest, right? So this to me doesn't even, isn't necessarily saying like, you know, the man with his arms crossed is kind of like, I'm not having any of this. Um, no. <laughs> um, and so I don't get that feeling here. I feel like whether this is you or whether this is somebody you're dealing with, there is a contemplation where there is a decision between, um, I feel like between something very genuine and serious and something more frivolous and fleeting. There's an, uh, an element of frivolity. Um, I feel like you've been very, very patient in this situation, very patient with this person. Um, so if this is a relationship, this might be where this person's having more fun hanging out with their friends. Um, you know, the Three of Cups can kind of indicate a third party situation. I'm not really seeing a lot of that here. And I don't I don't love the association with the Three of Cups and the third party, like automatic association, if I'm being honest. But we did have that Three of Swords reversed at the bottom. I feel like this could be if this is uh, somebody that you're dealing with, you already know this, heavily suspect this, there are signs of this in your reality where you're showing up and you're making an offer and they're kind of just like sitting here thinking about it, right? Maybe they are contemplating between you and another person. We have two twos showing up and we have the reference to two, two, two at the beginning of the reading. And twos are always about balance, um, you know, crossroads, decision-making, um, relationships. So I feel like if this is a relationship, this could be a friendship, a romantic relationship, um, really just like anything where you're offering your heart in a serious way, um, you've been showing up, um, especially where it's coming out of the clouds here look gray. Usually the cloud that the hand comes out of is like pure white. <clears throat> Excuse me. This says to me that even when it's, even when you're having a tough time, even when you're maybe not feeling your best, you dig deep and you really extended a lot of 
grace and benevolence to this person, this situation, this friend. Um, you know, if this is at work, like you've really tried to maybe help a coworker out. And there's something here where they're they're sitting here contemplating the offer. Whoever's involved in this is sitting here contemplating the offer and their focus is not where it should be or it hasn't been where it should have been. We have roses here and roses always make me think of like emotions and love. So there's five of them and this is kind of not dissimilar to the five of cups in that way, right? <clears throat> this person is thinking about what has either been lost or what they can't have, which might be friends, could be another person. It's what they perceive to be a source of joy and they're not recognizing that in this change that's being asked of them, there is, you know, there is this beautiful love, there is this beautiful reciprocity, there's emotional fulfillment, right? So this kind of has this energy of looking at what's been lost or looking at, you know, grass is greener elsewhere kind of a thing um, and not really embracing and celebrating what is being offered to them. Um, you could be dealing, I forgot to mention, with a Capricorn or an Aquarius with that Saturn energy. Um, but whether this is you and you're kind of like not sure about an offer and you're kind of, this feels like, so if this is you, this would be the energy of like, you're being offered something that you want, but it requires that you maybe make a sacrifice with this Saturn energy. Like maybe this means, you know, you're getting the offer for a job that you really, really wanted, but it means you don't have as much free time to spend with friends. Or, um, you know, maybe this is something where, you know, if this is like a person that it's like, yeah, I, I wanna be with you, but like that also means that I've gotta kinda give up, um, you know, the dating scene, just because we have the Queen of Wands here. Like I've gotta give up the dating scene or I've got to, um, it's a sense of like, I've got to limit myself in some way, shape or form. Whoever this is, whatever the circumstances are, uh, shit is changing with these three cards big time. There might be information that needs to be revealed, um, but there is a spiritual understanding that's not being grasped with the um, high priestess and then the, I was gonna say the Pisces man, no, the hanged man reversed. There's something that's not being seen and this is what's being brought. You know, we have two and two here. Um, this is the information that's being brought forth. Um, this could come in the form of an epiphany. This could come with, cause this guy almost has like his, his arm up to his head. He kind of looks like, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't see that. This feels like a, a really big epiphany for some people. Whoever this is, they're having a dream and it just like shakes them to their core. You know how, has anybody else, woof, back up, Sanessa. Has anybody else had that where like you have a dream that's so vivid that it almost like changes the course of your life? Um, this is that kind of energy. Whatever this is, this is a reckoning because I don't think this person's intentionally rejecting this offer, but I don't think that their focus is where it needs to be. Something is shifting, something's changing. I'm hearing the word re-racked. So something's being re-racked here because whoever's offering this, you know, and this is being like, if you're offering this, like you're the queen of wands, right? You have options. And even, I just noticed, we have the exploding volcano in the background, more like tower card energy. Um, if this is like, for example, a relationship, right? And you're making an offer. I feel like this person's like, oh, but you know, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm ready to leave the dating scene. I don't know, you know, if this is the best choice for me. And I feel like part of that, if this is another person, is that they recognize that you're a hot commodity here with the queen of wands. She's the kind of person everybody wants to be around. <clears throat> Excuse my cough. She's the kind of person everybody wants to be around. She's the kind of person everybody wants to be with. She's incredibly attractive, very magnetic. She's the, she, she got it going on. Um, and so I feel like it's, you've been offering something to this person and they're kind of like, they're sort of dragging their heels a little bit. Maybe it's very like, it's very overt, like they don't wanna make things exclusive. It might be a little more covert where like you guys are together, but they're not really fully committed. And this is because they have some deep seated fear and like they're not seeing the spiritual potential in this offer, but this is what I feel like is changing for them. Um, now, if this is you and you're kind of like uncertain about an opportunity, if this is you, this feels more like an opportunity where it's like, you know, I don't know if I'm up to it. I don't know if I like very much like a career type of opportunity of like, wow, I got offered this thing or like, you know, a creative project perhaps with the queen of wands. Um, 
<coughs> excuse me, like I got offered this thing, but it's gonna take up so much of my focus, so much of my time, you know, I don't know, you know, I want to do it with this, you know, follow the guidance of your heart and prosperity is uh, coming to you now. It's like, I wanna do it, but will I have enough time? Will it disturb my peace of mind? Will I have time for things I find enjoyable for, you know, my friends? And what spirit really wants you to know is that I feel like with Saturn showing up, any investment in this opportunity will pay back like, like tenfold. It will, it will be well worth your while, right? And to receive this opportunity with grace and happiness, right? There's, <clears throat> excuse me, um, somebody might be kind of like extending this to you and this is a gift for you. <clears throat> oh my God, I'm so sorry. Ah. But there is greater peace. There is greater happiness coming in, but there is this like reckoning moment, right? And that sounds <laughs> ominous. Um, I also feel like too, if this is you, this is an offer where it requires you to step into your power fully and there might be like a little bit of hesitation or fear. And they're like, your epiphany reckoning moment is realizing that you have what it takes to do this, right? And again, for some of you, it's that, accepting this is gonna mean ending a cycle and i feel like it's a cycle you've grown bored with or if this is another person it's a cycle that they've grown bored with but there's some <clears throat> there's something about letting go of it that feels like they're letting go of a piece of their comfort zone a piece of themselves and they're not seeing it clearly or maybe this is something that you're struggling to fully see clearly there's there's fear here whether it's you or another person there's fear in accepting this because it means letting go of something else <clears throat> but I kind of, I feel like this epiphany, this realization is coming in very quickly to help shift the perspective because whatever this is, is a beautiful offer. Um, I want to know what this like reckoning judgment moment is here. Oh, the fool. Okay. This is actually really positive. And the seven of wands. Okay. Um, and the ten of pentacles. Damn. We were just talking about the tenfold. And again, three of swords reversed at the bottom. This is actually super positive. Um, so with the, you know, this clarifying the judgment, again, that kind of reckoning moment, and I feel like this is sort of going to come out of nowhere, or maybe not now because you were watching this movie, or this movie, this reading, um, but there are details of it that are still unknown. So what the reckoning is, is you're getting this solid offer, like it's starting... Um, this is something that can lead to a lot of prosperity. Maybe there are details missing that you don't have, or there's like a conversation you and this person need to have. Um, but there's something where once this offer is made, and this is the offer, right? Um, cause we have the fool, seven of wands reversed and the 10 of pentacles. So once this offer is made, it's going to change the perspective and the dynamic here. And that's the whole point. And I feel like this is coming in very, very quickly. Um, it's going to help shift the focus and whatever resistance has been there, um, whatever has been kind of stopping this from progressing forward, I feel like is going to disintegrate. It's going to melt away. So, um, if this is a person you're dealing with where you're really offering all of this love, there's going to be a moment where they just like, they get it. They just get it and they come forward with an offer for you. Um, they might want to have a conversation with you and that's where this understanding comes in. Um, excuse my burp, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you know, it could just be something where it just finally clicks. There also might be something where they're waiting for something in terms of their stability and their finances, their career to come through and that finally happens. Um, but there is a hidden piece of information in this situation that will bring clarity to whoever this person is. Now, if this is you and you're being offered something, um, I do feel like there's a very solid offer or there's something where you're going to be able to, it's like going to kind of clear the clouds and you're going to be able to see the long-term potential of this, the solidity, the, the support that you can get through. Sorry, if you can hear my knuckles crack. The support um, that you may receive both, you know, materially, but also emotionally and spiritually through this opportunity because we have the fool and this is a brand new like huge soul cycle we have the dog here too so this might be that you know this is like you have a moment with this you know person a moment in this you know with your your job with your company a moment with a collaborator where you realize there's loyalty and that might be like the problem the hurdle here um toward moving forward. So this is really, really cool. There's a lot of really important, awesome energy coming in. 
Um, I kind of want to play you guys a couple of cards of advice because this seems spicy. Um, it's not that one, but I want to look. Okay, we have the star reversed. Yeah, so I feel like this is something where you're like, it's, <laughs> that's never going to happen. Okay, page of wands. Yeah, things are starting anew and strength is at the bottom. I'm not surprised. Um, so for advice, we have the ace of cups. There it is. And the two of cups. Well, fuck me. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so for a lot of you, this is a relationship. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like there's been a lot of challenges, a lot of restrictions here. This might be materially, emotionally, both. Um, but I do feel like this person, after, it's like you've offered your cup, right? You know, you've been kind, you've extended that graciousness, that benevolence. You've really tried to bring peace to the situation um, and to this person and a lot of stability. Um, and it's like after you have been offering this, this person's finally now seeing it and they're ready to offer that back. They're ready to have a legitimate conversation about it. They're ready to like really ground this connection a lot more um and I do feel like it's because they had this kind of like come to Jesus moment whatever that may look like for them <clears throat> so um I think that's just about everything I am seeing for group one I hope this has been helpful if you're looking for help with your specific situation please feel free to check out the link to my Etsy shop in the description box below I am wishing you guys the best the brightest and the most beautiful things that life has to offer and with that I'm going to move on to group two bye guys Oh my god, so many cards. Hello group two. Okay, I'm kind of shaking it off. Um, <clears throat> all right, so hi you guys picked so you know I'm a, I'm a firm believer that you get the number of cards you get I try to make them even but if I feel called to take two out of one deck or two fly out for a particular pile I don't necessarily feel super called to pull the same number for each each pile right because sometimes you need more messages sometimes you don't need as many and for you guys you guys got a um, you guys get the least amount of cards, but I feel like this is for a good reason because we have 888 showing up. We have strength, abundance, and infinite connection. <clears throat> Excuse me. So some of you are asking about, uh, your abundance, your material finances. Some of you are asking about a connection where with this like 888 kind of energy, the strength card kind of energy, you've had to be very, very patient in this situation. Um, and I feel like things are finally coming together. I also, you know, we have the hands of the clock on 12 and 2. Um, this makes me think of the wheel of the zodiac. So this would be like 12th house, second house. This feels like there's something where there's a cycle wrapping up when it comes to your security. Second house is the things that we value, the things that we find our security in, which is why it deals with our career, our finances, our material possessions, as well as, you know, how we place value on things. Um, so there is this long standing cycle of maybe confusion, um, illusion, difficulty moving forward, you know, obstacles, restrictions that is finally clearing up. So I really like that for you guys because this feels like things are finally getting on the road. It's like, oh my God, um, this could be a situation between a Pisces and a Taurus as well. <clears throat> so let's see what you have. Oh, you have Opal. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. I love that. What a beautiful start. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah. You have emerging. I love this card. Okay. Um, you have, ooh, lapis lazuli. We have a two with third eye chakra and consciousness. Try to make sure you guys can see. So I know there's a little bit of a glare. And bellflower with gratitude. Gratitude makes sense of our past brings peace for today and creates a vision for tomorrow. Melody Beattie. I really like that. <clears throat> okay. So the first thing I'm getting for some of you, you've been trying to conceive just because we have children showing up. Um, you've been trying to conceive for a while. And for some of you, you might be finding out either like now or very, very, very soon that you are in fact pregnant. If that's something that you wanted and that's something that happens, congratulations. Um, and I feel like this is something where, you know, make sense of our past, 
ah, I have straight hairs, <laughs> brings peace for today, creates a vision for tomorrow. This is something where you've had to be very patient. This is something that would stand the test of time. Um, I feel like in general, there's something that you've had to wait for a very, very long time, right? With the image of, of children here as well, this could be talking about healing your own inner child and kind of, um, you know, really creating that strength for yourself, that strong foundation for yourself. And this can always, you know, the image of children just means new beginnings. And we see this with the daffodils here as well. Um, at the time I'm filming this in the Northern Hemisphere, it's spring. So these are everywhere. Um, this is a timeless reading though. So it's okay if you find it at a different time. Um, this is something too with the third eye chakra and lapis lazuli showing up. I feel like there had to be... Before this could come together, I feel like there had to be this, this spiritual evolution, this like raise in vibration and in consciousness, because whatever this is, feels like an entirely new chapter for you and new you. Because even look how like kind of unsure and like a little bit nervous her body language looks. I feel like, cause you know, daffodils are always like about new beginnings as well. I feel like this is something that you've been wanting, but there is still a little bit of fear about this. Um, and, you know, with infinite connection, if this has to do with, I almost said infant connection, um, if this has to do with having a child or um, just in general, a strong connection in your life of any sort, this is something that you guys are very psychically connected, whether this person is yet embodied or not, or whether they are now no longer embodied, you and this person share quite a psychic connection. It stands the test of time. Um... And that's why things are finally coming into union with this person. So if this is like a love relationship, right? Um, you guys are finally kind of establishing some, like you've gone through your tests and as a result, you are now kind of manifesting this abundant relationship, this abundant love. Um, if this is like having a child, you and this child are part of the same soul family. You've had many lives together in different roles in each other's lives. Um, and this is something where you guys are finally, you have a psychic bond, but you're finally in the same frequency of consciousness in order for this to move forward. Um, and I feel like for many of you, especially if you've been doing like gratitude practices, whether like, <clears throat> oh, excuse my hiccup, <laughs> whether consciously or not, um, this has been a really beneficial practice. Um, and for those of you who haven't, this gratitude card to me speaks to the fact that when this all comes together, which I feel is very, very soon, when this all comes together, <clears throat> excuse me, and, you know, starts to fully emerge so you can see it, um, there's going to be like this appreciation. It's like, okay, now I understand why everything had to be the way it was. So let's pull you some tarot and get some more information. <laughs> and I cut the deck and strength is at the bottom. I just want to give it a shuffle. Oh my God. Why am I so bad? Ah! No. Okay, I got it. I got it, you guys. This is why I shuffle off camera because it's just not pretty. Um, I want to pull this one. This one. All right, let's start with that. <clears throat> Interesting. Queen of Wands at the bottom. She showed up in the first group. Um, so it could be some fireside energy. Again, strong Leo. Um, but also an Aries or Sagittarius. So for your tarot, we have... Yeah, the Five of Pentacles reversed. The Star reversed. Okay. I see. <clears throat> the Three of Cups reversed. Interesting. I have thoughts and I will explain them. The Three of Pentacles upright. Okay. And the three of wands, you guys, three threes, that's insane. Okay, so first of all, the reason why I'm like, ooh, the star to me can be a pregnancy and birth card, as can the three of cups and the three of pentacles. Those are all baby cards to me. So with the star reversed and the three of cups reversed, it could very well be that you've been trying to conceive for a long time and it hasn't really worked out. You may have conceived and then unfortunately lost a child, which if that is the case, um, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry even if you've been trying to conceive and really struggling. I know that's a very, very tough journey for many people. <clears throat> but I can tell here with the Three of Wands, whatever this is that you've, it's been a wish, right? It's been something that you feel just calls to you at your soul and to have to wait a really long time for it, right? Because this is what the Three of Wands can be all about, to have to feel so far away from it um, all the time, I feel like has 
has not only taught you your own strength, but it, it has been very difficult it's to, you know, it's been to feel far from your spiritual path, from your soul's calling. Because that's the thing with the star, right? The nine of cups and the star are both wish fulfillment cards. But the difference is that the star is like a wish that we feel is part of us. We feel is we are destined for. And so to to have that come true is not only getting a wish come true, but it's being in alignment and flow with our soul's energy, I feel, personally. <laughs> um, we do have Aquarius energy here, by the way, I forgot to mention. So this may very well be that um, there's kind of like, you've been on this journey to try to become a parent. And now with the five of pentacles, the three of pentacles and the three of wands, after feeling, cause this, it's really interesting. I talk about this a lot, but the five of pentacles and the three of pentacles are the only pentacles cards where they're depicted with a religious background. This person's outside a cathedral. This pe These people are building a cathedral. So where this is like, you know, feeling like you are building something and it's like you and another person and spirit, right? This is a spiritual partnership and it's it's flourishing because you're in alignment with your spiritual truth. This is almost feeling like like left out in the cold, lonely, abandoned. Usually it shows two people on the card as well. And this one, we only have one person. So there's something where you just feel like shut out and it is shut out of the situation, but it's also shut out almost by like the universe itself, feeling like abandoned by spirit. Um, and so whatever this is, this is coming back around now because you're finally ready for it. And this is going to kind of restore your faith that the universe is looking out for you, right? Um, that the universe is working with you, not against you, or that the universe is actively working to build with you and not indifferent to you. And you've been waiting for this for a very long time with this three of wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and especially where the, in the traditional card, he's looking out over like a desert. We have like a river here, right? It's like you had to learn to step back from your emotions and be calm in the face of a lot of emotional attachment to whatever this situation has been. Um, now, for those of you where this is like not about pregnancy and birth or parenting, um, again, you know, very similar energies, whatever this is, this is something that you really wanted. This could be like a super solid friendship. Um, this could be, you know, a job that you love with coworkers who are like, you are aligned with them. This is, um, you know, this is a relationship. This is somebody who is like, not only your best friend, but also your teammate. And whatever this is, this, I, I feel like this is either something that you thought you had and you lost, or you've just like been thwarted at every turn. You've had to be very, very strong. You've had to, you've had to be very, very patient and your ships are finally coming in. Um, and part of this experience, I wouldn't say it's served to strengthen your bond with spirit, but I think it, it is served to grow you and to make this that much more fulfilling. So like, I'm trying to figure out a way to talk about it because I never want to minimize anybody's suffering. That's not at all the case or make them feel like their suffering is just a lesson or like, I just never want to be flippant about it, you know? Um, but like, I talked about this with a friend ages ago where it was, you know, can we understand the meaning and the value of something without its opposite as contrast, right? Can we ever truly understand and appreciate a sunny day without rainy ones? Can we ever appreciate the light without the dark? And I came to the conclusion that, yeah, you can appreciate it, but there's a difference between appreciation, appre <laughs> can't even say it. There's a difference between appreciating something and having gratitude for it versus it having significance and meaning. And both are great. There's no problem with both. But like that significance and that meaning comes from waiting for it, comes from losing it, comes from struggling with it, comes from believing against all odds, believing in your heart of hearts and following that, right? Because it's believing in yourself, it's believing in the universe. You are cultivating so much more because you you just are so drawn to this thing. You believe in it so much. And when you do finally get to where, <clears throat> excuse me, get to where you're trying to go, manifest what you want, achieve a goal, overcome an obstacle that you've had to fight for, this may be something that you would have appreciated and had gratitude for normally, but it becomes so rich with significance in that moment. And those are the, the great overarching stories 
of our lives, right? And I know that sounds really dramatic, but it's true. Those are the things that when we look back and we think about what's defined us, we have that. We have that definition because we know what it means to go without. We know what it means to experience loss, to experience hopelessness, and we know what it means to reach deep down and find that strength within ourselves that helps us keep going. So this has really been an opportunity. This has been a journey of expanding your consciousness in a huge way, and now you're coming into alignment with whatever this situation is. Oh, shit, that's powerful. Um, that's why they're like, you're not going to need as many cards because you're going to have a lot of shit to talk about. Um, so I want to pull you guys some more tarot because I am spiritually nosy. You know, you know how I am. Um, King of Swords at the bottom. So again, we have um, heavy air sign energy, specifically Aquarius, Gemini, Libra as well. Um, this could be you. This could be somebody you're dealing with. Um, so we have, yeah, the Two of Swords. Wow, the world, damn. And the queen of wands, there she is, okay. So again, with a king and a queen kind of showing up, uh, we could have feminine fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, masculine air energy, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, okay, this is something where with the, so this could be talking about a relationship. Um, this could be somebody you're at a distance with because we have two cards of distance. Um, somebody that you're at a distance with, somebody that you have been on pause with, or there's a separation. But in general, I can see that you've had to wait for this for a very long time. I feel like you've been in this place for a while of wondering, do I give up hope on this thing? Do I, am I ever going to heal from this? Am I ever going to get this wish? Am I ever going to move forward? Am I ever going to be able to, you know, move into this next phase of my life where I am on this, because whatever this is, again, this feels like part of your path. Am I ever going to get there? Is this actually part of my path? Am I ever going to get answers? Am I ever going to be able to move on in one way or another, whether I get what I want or not? And I feel like a lot of you guys have been grappling with that. Um, and with the world showing up, you have concluded a massive soul cycle through this process, you are graduating, you are leveling up, you are wiser, you are stronger, you are more confident. I feel like as well, um, you guys have been working on your manifestation abilities, whether you did this consciously or not. And with the rose here, at the head of all of your manifestations, at the, the forefront is manifesting from a place of love, from a place of emotional strength, from that kind of, you know, strength card energy, sacred cosmic heart kind of consciousness. Um, and letting your love for your dreams, what lives inside your heart and soul, drive your manifestations. This is also somebody who is very confident. Um, this is somebody who is an excellent entrepreneur, um, a wonderful networker, very socially confident, um, a wonderful performer. So if any of those were kind of, you know, the star can talk about being in the spotlight as well, um, as can the world to a certain extent. So if this is what you've been trying to manifest, this is coming in for you now. And I do feel like there's still with emerging, again, just because look at her body language, there's still a little bit of trepidation. There's still a little bit of hesitation. Maybe you're like, am I actually ready for this? Is this real? Is this actually going to happen this time? Um, and what your your angels really want to talk to you about is the fact that you, you were going through something very, very important before, but you are moving into a different experience because you have gained the full wisdom, understanding, and knowledge from that. So that shit is powerful. I want to pull you guys a couple of cards of advice before I let you go. Um, yeah, I don't even have much to, much to say here. We have Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. That's so funny because to me, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pence combined are like the business partners, same way the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles are too. Um, yeah, wow, that's really cool. So <laughs> for your advice, we have the Strength Reversed. And the five of wands reversed. This is beautiful. This is saying your weight is up. Like you, you've been so patient. You've had to fight. You've had to fight internally, fight yourself, fight your own energies, maybe compete with other people. Your struggle is finally over. So you can let yourself believe in this. You can let yourself move forward because this is now your time. You are now building. You are now creating what it is you desire and you are moving forward. So this is incredible, um, yeah, really powerful messages. I think this is all I have for group two. Um, if you would like help with your specific personal situation, please feel free to check out my shop link in the description box below. I do take custom orders and I have a bunch of different readings listed. Um, so yeah, check that out if you want to. Um, but thank you for being here today and letting me be your reader. I hope I get the chance to read for you again in the future and I'm wishing you the best 
the brightest, most beautiful things that life has to offer. And with that, I'm gonna move to group three. Bye guys. Oh no, all the cards. Oh no, I can do this. Alrighty. Hi, group three. Okay, yours is really interesting. So if you were felt, if you were felt, if you felt drawn to group one, I haven't seen what's in your pile yet, but if you felt drawn to group one, that may apply to you as well, just because they had the beginnings and endings card. And I, the way I said it for group one, I'll, I'll explain it here, is that this kind of has this like tower card energy, right? Where it's like out with the old, in with the new, whether you like it or not, bitch. <laughs> um, whereas this your the card you were attracted to has more of a death card energy it's a little more natural a little more of an organic change this is like kind of when the writing's on the wall and you sort of slowly detach from your old self and go through this process of transformation into your your new reality your new self your new consciousness etc um while i was picking out the cards uh they kept showing me somebody sewing something up so i do feel like you're tying up a lot of loose ends reconciling with your past and surrendering what you what you can't really do anything about anymore. Um, I feel like you guys are doing a lot of release work and a lot of letting things go. And with all the purple and the pink and like that kind of magenta color, this is very spiritual. And this is getting you closer to a, a frequency of universal and unconditional love in order for you to start a new chapter. Um, some of you might identify as star seeds and you are coming together with other members of your collective, but you are starting to take more concrete steps toward your divine purpose and life mission. So that's cool as hell. So let's see what you got, boo. You have, oh, Crystal. Okay, so that could be somebody's name. Have faith and hope because there's something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. Okay, I love it. And again, look, the two lights right here. Interesting. So you're being really assisted and guided at this time. Whoops. Yeah, look at that. And look, the light, the light, the little orb. Okay, so you might, you might, oof, back up, Sanessa, hang on. You guys might be seeing orbs. If I could say it, that would be nice. Um, but I love that, that's so synchronistic. Okay, let's see what else we have. Oh, you have divine love. Pink amethyst, the soul star chakra, 16, which reduces to a seven. You have amaryllis, determination and creative achievement. You can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. That's a Maya Angelou quote. She is, she was dope. Sad she's gone. And I'm always, I always say this wrong. Uh, Naster, Nasterdium, victory and conquest. He who controls others may be powerful, but he who has mastered himself is mightier still. Lao Tzu. Okay. Ooh, this has like a six of wands feeling. Okay, so again, with divine love, for some of you, you are kind of looking for your person. You are coming into alignment just because we have the two orbs here and then we kind of have this like mirror reflection. Um, you are coming into alignment with a very special soulmate, possibly a twin flame, um, or with multiple members of your soul tribe, like your, your collective, um, in order to step into this next chapter. But I mostly feel that this divine love speaks to the immense amount of spiritual support around you. Again, with all the orbs, you have a lot of angelic support. And it also, I feel, talks about um, you stepping into an even higher, more abundant frequency of divine love, right? Because um, we have that soul star chakra. And so I do feel like your soul star chakra is getting an activation. And this is going to make it even easier to... Uh, Oh, ah. to connect to cosmic intelligence and to be able to pull down that that frequency and to be able to anchor that frequency down now for some of you you might do this through a creative project uh, some of you are content creators and you're about to start gathering um gathering more of a following or you're about to get kind of a breakthrough in terms of new ideas or new collaborative partners um, but there's something here where <clears throat> excuse me there's something here where I feel like you're being asked with determination and creative achievement and trust. Uh, there, there's going to be something new on the horizon and you're going to be asked to take a leap of faith on this. You're going to be asked to trust that 
you know, maybe you have a sudden interest because she's like fascinated by this, right? If like maybe you have a sudden interest in something that you didn't before and you're kind of like a little bit timid when it comes to exploring it or maybe you now suddenly have an urge to put your work out to the public and you're like, I don't know. Maybe you're going to meet other people that kind of bring you into a new hobby, a new, um, you know, a new, what's the word? Discipline. Um and there's a little bit of trepidation either about exploring something further or about showing your achievements to the public. For some of you, this is, um, you've been going through past life integration and release. And one of the results of this is that you are uncovering a talent that you have perfected in a past life. Um, but you are, you are getting access to higher information. And I do feel you are getting a lot of support both energetically, um, like from your angels and also from people who are coming into your reality, who are going to who are going to help you develop that because you have a mission, you have a talent, you have, um, you got something to say and people need to hear that. And I do feel like, you know, there is going to be, you know, I just noticed there's one, two, three, four waves and there's four of these. So again, you might get this in waves. Like you meet one person who gets you into this new hobby and then you meet another person who's like, wow, I really love what you made. I love what you do. And they help you get to the next stage. <clears throat> excuse me um it's just something like that uh like I said for some of you you are you are preparing to come into alignment with your divine counterpart and I feel that with victory and conquest this is after quite a long time of really refining yourself of really working like doing the work to peel back the layers you know like do all the healing work try really hard to work through ego triggers and fears and this is because you're finally you you're coming into alignment with whatever this is whether this is a life partner whether this is you know your life purpose your calling your soul collective whatever this may be you're coming into alignment with this because you've had to do a lot of work and i see that here um and so this is very close and on the horizon here you're just kind of buttoning up loose ends Let's pull you some tarot because I'm a nosy person. I'm spiritually nosy. Um, all right. I want one more for you. Okay. Oh, and I pulled in 10 of cups was there. I like that. Okay. So can you see this? Since I'm so good at holding things out of the frame. Okay. So we have, oh, sorry if you can hear the lawnmower. We have the four of swords. We have, yeah, the Hermit. I am not surprised to see that. The Ten of Swords reverse. Baby, are you okay? The Ace of Wands reverse. Oh my God, this is totally confirming. Okay. And the King of Swords. Whoo, okay. So we have Virgo energy here and we have masculine air energy. This could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be you. This could be somebody else that you are in contact with or about to come into contact with. Um, okay. So this is, this is really confirming to me first and foremost we have the ten of swords reversed i feel many of you have gone through a really significant dark night of the soul i like seeing that it's reversed because this suggests that you are on the other side of it right um even though it's a sunset i'm almost getting that it looks like dawn like the sun is finally about to rise but i do feel like you are in this period of healing still um, you've been in hermit mode for a while, right? You've really been, again, going within, oh, I just love how, I love the body language here, I'm sorry, because I look like that when I'm, like, in all my blankets, and I'm just like, nobody disturb me from my slumber, um, but, yeah, it's just, you've been really going within, you've been spending the time alone, even with this group, I was, like, amped up for the other ones, but this one, I immediately got a lot more calm. You've really been doing the work to find this placidity, to do the healing with the three swords right here, to find your truth in the midst of heartache, um, to try to find understanding about what you have experienced thus far. And because of this, you've achieved a lot at a spiritual level, right? The hermit is always going within to try to find spiritual truth, to try to gain understanding in order to move forward on their journey and what always follows the hermit is the wheel of fortune right so this person the hermit finishes their journey exactly at the right time because the wheel of fortune is serendipity divine timing um always finishes their journey right when they're supposed to right not a moment earlier not a moment later um and that might be something that's stressing you guys out especially if you're very energetically sensitive and you can feel this new beginning coming but you're kind of like 
It's like hearing the boss music, but you don't see the boss. You're like, where the hell is it? <laughs> I feel it, and especially with the Ace of Wands. Like, I feel it, but it's not here yet. Um, so you guys are in this like period of time where you are, you've done a lot of the healing work. You're pulling the swords out. You're, you're letting go of what was. You're letting go of your old self. But this new beginning, this new energetic upgrade, I was about to be like this new, and I was like, no, I feel like I shouldn't do that. <laughs> we all know what's there. We all know what we're looking at. Um, <laughs> But I'm so immature. I'm sorry. Um, there's this new, <laughs> can't you guys? Okay, there's this new energetic beginning. Um, and this is a new spiritual journey for you, a new part of your spiritual journey. Um, with the King of Swords, this could very well be you as well. Um, because we do have with Virgo here, we have a lot of like Mercury kind of analytical energy. Um, whatever this, if this is you. You've really gained the wisdom, again, with the butterfly, the wisdom of your transformations, the wisdom of your experiences. And with this Ten of Swords imagery, and there's like one sword in the air, this is powerful. It's like you've taken what has stabbed you, and you have you have pulled the sword out, and you have gathered all the information. You have gathered all the wisdom of this experience, and you're ready to lead now, right? The, the King of Swords is an excellent communicator. I call him the man with the plan. Like... He is an, a wonderful strategist. So you have, like I said, you have something to say. Um, and I'm hearing, don't ignore that. Don't undervalue that. Because um, sometimes with this Virgo energy, this can be a little bit of nervousness and sort of like self-doubt. Um, and I love that we have victory and conquest here too. This is really saying you've had victory over the worst things that could the worst things that could occur to you, you've had victory over them, right? You've had victory over your defeats because you have used them to build yourself, right? To make yourself stronger. And that's a really um, underrated skill set, right? And this is why there's, you know, achievement, determination, victory, conquest, is because this is what you're headed toward. Now, if this is something that you're wanting to pursue, like I said, this person could be coming in, this person um, is a really good planner. This person might work in communications in some way, shape, or form. This person knows their shit and they want to help you. They think you have something to say. And this is kind of like this energy of you should trust in that. Um, actually, I want to pull a clarifier for this King of Swords. Okay. Yeah, chariot. Boom. Okay. Uh, we've got Cancer energy showing up here as well. And the Queen of Swords reversed at the bottom. Interesting. So again, with Divine Love, the King and Queen of Swords, this may be where this is a, a divine counterpart situation um with the chariot like i said if this is you these sphinxes have giant boobs i'm super jealous um <laughs> like look at okay i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get into it um <laughs> but you know with the chariot this is a really interesting thing because this is victory willpower conquest where we heard that before this is success and because we have the the black and white sphinxes this is like to me, this is victory and success through knowing both our light and our shadow sides inside and out, right? The charioteer is victorious, in my opinion, because he knows all parts of himself. He works with his energy, not against it. And this is why he usually is successful, because he's able to say, hey, I can't do this, or hey, I don't know what I'm doing here. You know, he's able to be aware of his blind spots, but not undone by them, and and not um, not in a way that is, overly self-critical so if this is somebody else again this is this is either you on your way to success or this is somebody else who sees this energy in you who sees this you know this victorious energy this successful energy off of you who sees what you have been through and is like okay this group three can hang all right um if this is something where you are thinking, uh, like you're pursuing a relationship, again, king and queen of swords, um, this is indicating success. If you're thinking about working in something having to do with communications, whether this is writing, doing a content channel, um, <clears throat> producing any kind of content, anything where you're communicating, um, this is going to be incredibly successful. <clears throat> Excuse me. It might not happen overnight again with the waves here, but there's something where you have shit to say. And whether this is you or this is somebody else, your guides, your angels are saying it's worth believing in yourself. This person's going to believe in what you have to say. You should believe in what you have to say because you have earned it. You have fought all the battles you needed. And now it's time to tell your story in one way or another, whether directly or indirectly. Um, I love this. 
So I want to kind of clarify what this divine love is, first of all, just because I'm, <laughs> I'm nosy. Um, you know how it is. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Woof, the devil. There's so much boobs, I'm sorry. I mean, like, it's whatever, but if you're upset by boobs, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, surprisingly, that's the first time I've said that all day. Um, so we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed, the devil, and the Five of Pentacles reversed. For some of you, this does have to do with a career. For some of you, this has to do with a Capricorn. Um, but there's something where... This could have to do with a relationship with a Capricorn where one or both of you um, have struggled with a healthy relationship to dependence, whether, you know, overly codependent in the past, overly hyper-independent. There's been this negotiation where one or both of you, I feel both of you, has had to learn how to have a healthy interdependence in a relationship. But I do feel like that has that has been worked through or that is kind of being wrapped up that cycle is being wrapped up um this is somebody who will stick it out with you this is somebody who's never gonna like shut you out and leave you in the cold i will say with the king of swords showing up and the the devil first of all this person's gonna think you hot as hell um i will say with these two showing up though and also i guess with the the chariot this person might not be the most overtly romantic um but they are very loyal they are very committed i feel um now, for some of you, this divine love is really talking about overcoming, either way, this divine love is talking about overcoming your restrictions. You may have had a lot of karmic connections, um, but overcoming what has threatened to destroy you in the past, right? What has taken away your self-worth, self-confidence, what's made it hard to build a firm foundation for yourself. And because you are healing that, you are having a better experience. You are coming out of this feeling of lack of poverty. These are also three earth energies. So this could very well pertain to a career where you've had a lot of, again, restrictions in the past. And now that you're, now that you're facing that, now that you have faced that and you're wrapping these cycles up, this is opening you up to have a better experience and to be able to finally cultivate more security. Um, so I'm going to pull you guys just a couple of cards of advice. I want to pull one more because that's how I am. <laughs> Feeling saucy today. Okay. Yeah, the three of wands. The Ace of Swords, look at that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the Fool, I love that. Perfect. Again, brand new, gigantic soul cycle. Whoever is coming along with you, whether it's one person, multiple people, um, or whoever joins you along your path is going to be very loyal to you. And the reason why is like your ships are finally coming in. You've done the hard work. You've waited. You've put in the effort. You know, I love this because what always follows the Ten of Swords is the Ace. This is the breakthrough this is the success. The Ace of Swords has a very similar energy to the Chariot, just like mini version. Um, and as a result, especially where we have the One Sword here and the Four of Swords and the Three up here, you have been healing from heartbreak and this is yielding this beautiful breakthrough, this important truth that you've been waiting on for a very long time. And like I said, this is quintessentially Ace of Swords, King of Swords. You know, we got swords all day. My dear, you have shit to say. You have very important shit to say. And you are going to be starting a journey where you have the opportunity to do so. And you're going to be helping a lot of people through sharing the wisdom that you have accrued through your experiences, both, you know, both light and heavy, positive and negative. So this is pretty freaking dope. Um, I hope this has been helpful for you. If you need help with your specific situation, please feel free to check out my shop link in the description box below. It's been an honor, a joy, and a delight to get to read for you. I hope I get to again in the future. I'm wishing you all the best, all the brightest, all the most beautiful things that life has to offer. Take care, love bugs. Bye.